Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and today I'm going to be doing a haul, a little history, a swatch, and a sketch. I'm going to attempt to video edit for the first time ever, so please be patient with me. I am still learning. So I thought we would start with the haul. So I ordered from three places. The first one was Amazon, and I picked up three things. And I apologize if um, crinkling packaging um, is just hard to hear. It's going to be a little bit of that during this haul portion. So I picked up a small digital microscope. I thought it would be super fun for really interesting inspiration ideas to sort of go outside and sort of stitch in and clip into my videos some really interesting nature things that are going on around where I live because where I live is absolutely beautiful. So I picked this up. Um, this is the Traveler's Blank Monthly. I actually use this for homeschool, so this one won't be used until August, September of this year, 2023. So that is what this looks like. And I do one a year. It's for record keeping and the things I have to do. Um, this is a package of multicolored envelopes. You can see all the beautiful colors there. These are five by seven. I think there's a hundred or something in here. So I purchased a roll of paper from Blick. It is the Strathmore 500 series, 100% cotton. It is a massive roll of paper. Um, I'm doing this because I'm doing a low buy. So again, I'm gonna just kind of repeat that. If I can't spend the money, I'm gonna have to spend the time. And the time is going to be cutting and flattening. Uh, sheets for making my own sketchbooks and doing my own stuff. And one of the things I love doing for people is making homemade birthday cards. Um, I'm not, um, gift giving isn't my love language. <laughs> so uh, I just do homemade cards for folks. And honestly, most folks that I give cards to already have everything they kind of need or they just buy it when they need it anyway. So that's one thing that I can kind of do for them that's homemade and nice. And I initially was going to buy the Strathmore watercolor paper and cards, but this is such a better value. Plus, I now have the option of doing just a flat insert or a fold over insert since I'll be cutting my own paper. And then I can custom the cards envelopes to the illustration or to their favorite color, which I think is a really nice touch for folks. So these are the three things I purchased from Amazon. And yep, there we go. And then the Blick purchase, I can't show you that roll because it hasn't arrived. So I ordered it in time but there's been weather delays across the United States because of storms. So please keep safe, know where the warm shelters are, check on your friends, family, and neighbors. I am thinking of you. Um, <laughs> so that's where the roll is. I will get it probably sometime this week and then eventually it'll get folded into videos as I show you the process of me cutting, flattening, and making things with the paper. But for this haul, I don't have it and I apologize. So the third place I purchased from was Jet Pens, and I have purchased from them before. And, oh wow, this is gonna be loud and noisy. Okay, I didn't open it up. I thought about it. Oof. I apologize. Okay, we'll get through it. This is what I purchased. Ooh. If I can get it out on camera, I'm going to cut it out so it's not quite so noisy. Uh oh. And I did clean my desk. That was a thing I did, but I've since brought things back onto my desk because I want to do a swatch and a sketch in this video. Okay, what I purchased. So this is the Stology. This is the one that I want to be using the entire year, every single day. Now this is the Stology 365A5, um, and this is the plane. So initially, when Stology was created in 2012, 
It was grid. It's like a light gray grid. And last year, no, two years ago now, 2021, they came out with the dot grid and the plain page. So that is what this looks like. It folds flat. You can really get in there, fold it. The paper is very thin. We're going to do some swatching because I'm really worried. <laughs> so this is 184 sheets and the sort of like romantic in me was like, how beautiful would it be to have an entire year of art encapsulated in one sketchbook that I could show folks and show you and take around and just, you know, super portable, take it with me. Like that's sort of the fantasy illusion here. But my fear is that this paper is so thin that, here, I think I have a, a pencil board. My fear is that it's just gonna be too much bleeding and ghosting of products. This is a traveler's pencil board and I like it because of all the rulers and grids and stuff. Um, that it will be unusable on the other side, like it won't look good or it'll be too distracting with that much ghosting. Can you see the grid through there? I hope that helps. So what may eventually end up happening with this is I may end up purchasing a second one in the summer, even though I don't want to and I wanted to do services in one purchase. Um, I'll do swatching and I'll decide on the spot. That's kind of what the spine looks like. What I did was I bought a Midori cover, an A5, to protect this because I want to take this with me where I go and sort of create in nature and draw and stuff. And I want it to be protected if I'm putting this like in my backpack hiking around and I want to take you hiking with me. <laughs> so we're going to do that. This is the cover for this. Um, and then Here's the cover for this. This is my planner for the year, and this is not what I set out originally to buy. I originally was gonna do a Hobonichi A6, the one piece, just because it's so much fun. And my no buy has changed sort of how I view stuff. And what I want isn't necessarily what I need. So this is a better fit to what I need. And I'm gonna show you what this planner looks like. So it's very minimal. It's the Midori paper, which I love the Midori paper. It's super soft. Um, and this is what the monthly spreads look like. I'm gonna fill this with videos and then notes of what I have to do, where I have to go and prep for each video. So I need to have 52 video ideas, at least one a week. So there's August. And then it goes into lined paper. So what happens is from January, it turns into lined paper. Now the reason I wanted lined paper is because again, I am learning how, and it's gridded off if you want to do a section a day, but I am learning how to edit videos. And I wanted a place where I can make tons of video editing notes. If there are sections where I can, here's the bookmark that comes with it. Um, just find shortcuts and you know keypad shortcuts or program shortcuts i want to make notes of all that and then it goes into a section of just blank paper and i can make some rough sketch ideas and different things in the back if i want to with just the blank paper and basically this year i need to have 365 illustration ideas for the stology so that could also go in the line section or the blank section if I really want to write super tiny and see what that looks like all on one page. I have that option. So this is uh, the B6 and the cover and Jet Pens sells this and still has this in stock and they are in California. And Yoseka Stationery, which is in New York, sells this and it's still in stock. So this can still be purchased and it was about $16. So if we look at the total of what I've purchased and spent, keep in mind there's a huge massive roll of paper that's coming. Um, I spent $167.20, 
which leaves me, because I have a budget of $500, $332.80. So if I need to purchase another Stology and cover for the second half of the year because I only want to use one side because of ghosting and bleeding, I still have the freedom and option to do that. Um, sort of saving money on a planner, saving money on envelopes and cards. So this is it for my haul and we are going to get to swatching. Are you ready? All right, let's get to swatching. I have placed the cover on the book. It is, I would say, maybe an eighth of an inch, a little small. It's a tight squeeze. So if you're going to buy the Midori A5 cover for the Stology that's A5, and then you want to add um, additional elements onto the page, like washi tape, stickers, collage elements, um, this cover probably won't work for you. It's just a little too tight. So I have a bunch of pens. I have a Neo color. I have pencils. I have some watercolor. We're just going to try a bunch of things. So the first thing I have here <laughs> is the mess on my desk I need to clean. This is the Copic uh, fine liner. And I have the pencil board underneath because I just want to see. I want the stability because sometimes I press really, really hard and I don't want all these sort of writing indentations onto the next page. So here is the Pilot. And I love using Pilot pens for stuff. The G2. So about this product, this product, and here is a Micron. Oh, this is an 08, I apologize. And I'm going to, maybe I'll do some overlapping elements and see how much that bleeds. Okay. It's not like the Tomoe River. It's definitely not. It's definitely a little, it's different. Now, I know that Sharpies and alcohol markers bleed through a lot of products. I just want to show you what that looks like for my Sharpie creators, for my alcohol marker creators. I want you to see what that looks like. So... Um, just out of curiosity. If you want a good paper that doesn't show bleeding, with Copic markers, I would recommend the Render. I can link that. Uh, here's a Tombow. That has probably seen better days. It's pretty old, this Tombow. Um, I wanted to try a metallic. So this is the Uniball Signo and Silver. I don't do a ton of pen and ink. I just wanted to see, well, I do some, I guess, but this is watercolor. This is the Caran d'Ache Supra color. It's a watercolor pencil. And we are going to see how this sort of buckles and warps. Here is the Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2s. This is the water soluble one. Let me clean my brush a little bit. Put that on camera, you can see what I'm doing. All right. Hmm, okay. There is visible buckling, but there's kind of a charm and I could definitely see sort of that crinkle a little bit. Here is just a Faber Castell. This is the Polychromos. Um, this is the pine green. I just wanted to see what, if there was like ghosting from that. And then I have my little sketchers. This is from Windsor Newton. This is the Cotman. This is the Viridian. So if I wanted to do a couple little leaves, like how well does this take wet media? If I let it sort of pool a little bit, if I forget and let a portion pool when I am creating and then I come back to it later, does it bleed through? What is the sizing performance of this page? So we are going to look at that as well. 
And while that's drying, we're gonna talk a little bit about this, this product. And you can see it's really starting to pool a little bit. I'm gonna move that around. Hmm, okay. While this is drying. So basically, um, this product was created in 2012. It's called Good Design Company, who launched this. Um, the gentleman who created it, his name is Manabu Mizanu, and Mizano, and he's Japanese. This is created in Japan. And the Good Design Company was involved with the brand name, the product development, uh, statements, various designs. Um, there's four sizes, the A6, A5, B6, B5. Um, Stology is also, um, it's paper, these sketchbooks, it's page flags, post-its, there's a pen and pencil. Um, Nidums, which is a member of the Nido group, it's a general materials manufacturer and they supply and, um, you know, a wide variety of products. So they're the ones who manufacture Stology products. And as of last month, November, 22 um, they created a b6 landscape size so there's a little bit stuff going on and you can get this again in the 365 or the half year but just know for the number of sheets for the 365 it's 184 so let's look and see what the back looks like a little bit and you can see the copic bled through i can see ghosting with all the products, the Micron, the Pilot, the Copic Fine Liner, you can see the little squares here. There's the Sharpie. Um, even the Tombow has ghosting. You can't see the silver. Uh, the watercolor a little bit, you can see there's a lot of ghosting here. You can see that green really pop through. So what I'm going to do um, I'm just gonna make the executive decision right here, right now, is this is going to last me half a year. I'm only gonna create on one side. That way I don't worry um, or try and like change the things I want to do and not use dark colors because these greens aren't that dark, but you can see how much it's showing through. And I really like using dark colors. I like using indigo and some of those things. And I don't want to have to worry about, wow, that's really going to change the trajectory of the next illustration I go to do when you see, you know, a blue lion's head popping through. So I'm just, this is going to have to last half a year. So I say, let's get to sketching. Are you ready? <laughs> All right, let's get to sketching. This is my planner and I've taken the tissue paper cover off because I'm going to put the plastic cover on in a bit, but I wanted to do an illustration first. This is like a cardboard and I've never drawn on one of these. I've collaged on the A5 that I've done, but I wanted to do an illustration and I have a bunch of things here. So I have my Faber-Castell Polychromos. I have one Caran d'Ache Luminescence. I have a pencil holder which really helps with that sort of mid-range pencil to hold. And then I have one that's on a pencil extender just because I really use like a lot of brown. So, and then I have a jelly roll in white because I think this will be super helpful and quick for whiskers. So what am I drawing? Well, January 21st, 22nd. January 22nd is Year of the Rabbit. So I thought I would doodle a little rabbit on my front cover. Um, I didn't buy any stickers. So I have some rabbit stickers and that's fine. And I thought about covering my sketchbooks with fun stickers and different things. But the stickers I wanted are kind of one-offs. And with the price of shipping plus the price of the sticker, I would have spent $100 on stickers already this year. So I'm just not buying stickers for a while. I have some sticker books. There's roughly my shape. Can you see that? Am I zoomed in enough? Um, I just, I don't know. I was in the mood to doodle and I wanted to doodle with you. So we're going to doodle together and 
we're just going to draw a rabbit and celebrate this year for our Lunar New Year. And I think that's why there's a lot of drawing challenges that are rabbits. Um, next year, I believe, is Year of the Dragon. So there's going to be a lot of dragon products. That is a very, very popular um, year for marketing when it's Year of the Dragon with companies coming out with dragon themed things, which is fine. If you are into dragons, that's, you're gonna have a fantastic year. I'm just adding some orange to the brown. Be a lot of fun here. I think this is black. At any rate, we're gonna try it. Give our rabbit some uh, eyeballs. Maybe I want to go higher up. We'll go higher up. We'll just loop that in. So, I don't even know where my erasers are. I have a whole jar of erasers and it's why I don't ever buy them, um, but I never use them. So <laughs> I probably should start getting those out and like making use of the things I own. Um, I once bought a bunch and I did a video. It was like products I bought for a video. And then afterwards I was like, you know, I don't really want to buy specific products for videos. This is going to get expensive and I'm going to own a ton of stuff. I'm not into it, but I did like a comparison between all these erasers and in the end, like they're just, every company is trying to create the best eraser they can and you can't fault them for that. And they're trying to make innovative designs. I mean, I saw an eraser where as you erase, Mount Fuji is created. And from an engineering standpoint, that's amazing. Um, is it necessary? I have no idea, but it's a lot of fun. But in the end, like it's, it's the artist, it's how you create, it's what you create. I just, there's no secret ingredient. There's no magic eraser that's the best eraser out of all the erasers. There's just different designs that people prefer, different sizes and shapes that people util utilize more depending on their art style, whether they work small, whether they work large, whether it's charcoal, whether it's pencil, so I don't really have like the most amount of recommendations except have a kneaded eraser if you're going to pre-sketch on watercolor paper just because eraser can tear the fibers. Have a harder eraser for pencil and maybe something tiny for details like a stick eraser that, uh, that you like. See my little bunny? <laughs> my little bunny. It kind of looks. Oh, it's you. It is me, and I'm drawing you. Hi, sweetheart. Hey, little rabbit. Little rabbit. A lot of fun. I like hairs. I'm drawing a hair. I love their ears. I love big old ears. My favorite. Our dog has like huge floppy ears. And when she like tilts her head in question, I like fall to pieces every time. I'm like, whatever you want, just ask for it. I will give it to you. Um, yeah. And she's one of those breeds where they tend to clip ears and stuff. Which is a shame because if you keep them, it's cuter. Starting to come together. You can kind of tell there's a rabbit going on here. Lots of oranges, lots of browns. I may I have the malachite pulled out just for a little bit of spot color, for a little bit of complementary color to add. To add in here a little bit. Let's see if I can. Kind of smear and blend this a little bit. Polychromos are so soft that they're great for blending. However, if you want a fine tip point, know that they're soft and you'll have to keep sharpening to maintain that because they're just super, super soft. 
All right, I'm gonna keep working on this and we will see what the end looks like. Okay, here is my finished rabbit. And if you can see that, it is colored pencil. I have a little bit of the spot malachite just to sort of make the browns and oranges pop. Um, I couldn't get my white ink pen to perform on top of the colored pencil and on top of this surface. So what did I ended up doing is just using some of my Holbein uh, gouache and permanent white. And then I have a Winsor Newton Cotman brush and it's zero, 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 zero. So four slash zero. It is very tiny. It has super, super tiny bristles. And I was able to do a little bit of whisker, a little bit of highlight in here. So I'm just going to put this down in its cover because it's all dried. And I'm going to spend my evening putting in ideas and making sure things are evenly spaced out for the videos I want to do this year. All right. And at some point I may add 2023 on the front cover. I'm not sure. Right now I'm just going to sort of settle in to the rabbit that I've drawn. But Year of the Rabbit is a great year. It's you know, the rabbit is special. It denotes a year of peace and prosperity and hope and longevity. And so I hope that you take this and it inspires you to be creative, to sketch, to swatch. Here is the finished dry on here. So we can look now at some of the sort of crinkle, the little bit of warping and buckling within the page. If I turn it this way, hmm, that's kind of hard to see, isn't it? But there's just a lot of ghosting and this isn't the darkest color. So yeah, I'm gonna, this is only gonna last me half a year and I'll be purchasing a second one, which will cut a little bit into my budget. But that's just kind of how this goes as we learn and discover together. And then this page will just be dedicated to swatching and throughout the year I may come back and see what different layers, like if I do colored pencil and then watercolor and then ink on top of all three, like what that, what that looks like on this type of paper. But this is very exciting. I can't wait to get into this. Um, <laughs> here's gonna be day one. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day. Um, thank you for following along on my journey, on my no buy, and now on my low buy. Um, I'll be doing another video in probably the end of June. That is the second half, which will be mediums and another one of these, unfortunately. And we will see what is left. And with the money left, that will go to schools and kids um, so we can sort of further motivate and inspire the next generation of artists and creators. So I've allocated 500 for the year. 500 will be spent, just not all of it on me. So thank you so much. I hope your day is absolutely wonderful. Stay safe, be warm, enjoy the beginning of the new year. So happy new year. Bye.